Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Anki to make flashcards when preparing for MRCP part one and two. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I'm a junior doctor currently working in dermatology based in Glasgow in the UK. And on my channel, I share my life experiences and journey towards becoming a consultant dermatologist in the UK. Some of you have requested me to make a video on how I use Anki when preparing for MRCP. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you my two main tips when making flashcards using Anki. So what is Anki? So Anki is a tool that people use to help make flashcards. So I used to make my own handwritten flashcards uh, some time ago, but I kind of stopped because they are just simply too time consuming and there were too many flashcards to make. Anki basically helps speed things up by essentially allowing you to copy and paste important information into the flashcards. Say for example, you want to make flashcards on the topic uh, weakness granulomatosis, also known as granulomatosis with polyangiitis. And you want to remember the features, the possible investigations for it, as well as the different management steps uh, in approaching this problem. Instead of creating flashcards separately or handwriting of flashcards, which just takes so much time, you can actually use Anki by copying and paste the text um, into the flashcard itself and using the close function to create sections. This hides the text that you want hidden, thereby creating three sub flashcards in just one master copy. Which means when you review your flashcards later, you will have three things that you need to recall uh, just by creating one big flashcard. Another useful tool that I have been using is the image occlusion tool. What this does is it helps you to hide text in pictures, thereby creating flashcards themselves. For example, if you have a Venn diagram uh, describing the similarities and differences between weakness granulomatosis and Schott-Strauss syndrome, you can copy and paste the entire picture into Anki and then hide the important text using image occlusion tool. You can then choose either hide all guess one or hide one guess one. I personally prefer hide one guess one as it allows me to see the text outside the one that I'm trying to recall. Image occlusion is an add-on which means you will need to download this in addition to your Anki software. To do this, you will need to open up Anki on your computer and then go to tools, add-on, browse, install to paste the code as shown on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this useful, be sure to like and hit the thumbs up button. Please also subscribe to my channel as it will mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching once again. See you next time. Bye-bye.